Hey everybody, and welcome back to our uh, MechWarrior 3 Let's Play. Let's hear what the briefing officer has to say. No determination on the status of dropship Black Hammer. We assume it is down. Act in accordance with mission specifications until we devise a rescue plan. That was Captain Taylor's official response to my request for information. Our extraction is an unknown factor at this time. We have recovered codes from the communications facility objective that allowed us to break clan radio encryption. You will receive a direct feed of clan intentions. Finally, Dominic Gunner Payne deployed successfully and has moved into position to keep clan forces pinned in place. We will rendezvous with him as planned at the mech factory. Oh, got a little more. This is Sergeant Grant Bell from MFB2. I'll be your secondary briefing specialist for up-to-the-minute mission information. In the Comaray station you just destroyed, we've just found some files that will have a definite impact on the mission. In addition to the earlier information which led to our breaking clan encryption code, there are files regarding weapons the Jaguars have brought with them to Tranquil from their raids of the Outer Rim world. No doubt you will encounter some. A detailed list of these weapons has been sent to your computer screen. Additionally, we found some files that talk about some kind of, and I quote, alien technology. The information is very vague and sketchy. Something about a device they're trying to reverse engineer. I get the impression the device is located somewhere in the northernmost mission areas along our route. The Jags are being very secretive about it, and it seems to hold a top-level priority. Tell your team to be ready for anything, even a new mission objective. Sorensen and the rest of the tech team are going to analyze this further and be on the lookout for more information. That's it for now. Good luck on the next mission. And you heard him. That little additional blurb is, I believe, added by the Campaign Plus Added Enemies mod. But I would have to check. So let's just exit to the main menu real fast and just... Just... Check. Controls. No, it's not under view. Targeting? No. Should be under cockpit. Lock zoom. Toggle tool switch. Control. Numpad zero. Let's just toggle damage display. One of the things that's very frustrating is that this I figured out how, um, gosh, there we go. No, oh, no, that'll be fine. I figured out how to properly, um, set key bindings without having to tap them a million times, but that was, like, a couple of years ago, and I've already forgotten how. So, hopefully, the torso mode was all the issue. I don't have a numpad. Why is this here? I have a 10 keyless keyboard. Com controls. That's all fine. Okay. Now comes the part where I have to back up my save. Wait here. One moment while I stop the recording, back up my save, start a new recording, and then later have to splice these two together. Hey everybody, and welcome back to the MechWarrior 3 Let's Play. Uh, sorry for the brief interruption, but I just had to do a backup to the save file, and I also attempted the next mission, but then had to screw around again with a couple controls. It turns out that using the get up command G was for some reason changing the torso mode. So, uh, I am going to attempt now with those fixed controls to see if we can do op one, mission two. Objective Abel, objective Baker. The missile platform has a range well beyond the barracks area. Terrain analysis has found a blind spot in the coverage to the south. Expect moderate mech resistance, especially at the approaches to the missile platform. If you're not aware, because it's uh, it's not super clear, you're actually starting this mission from exactly where you left off last time. You're in the same location. It'll become more apparent once we jump into the mission. So let's just do a quick 
supplies, that already allocated, that shouldn't happen. Why? 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 Okay. Well, I guess... Oh, save files. Oh, why do you do this to me? Okay. So, I am just going to change this build very quickly. Because two AC-10s is probably overkill for what we need to accomplish. But having an ER large will be quite helpful. Uh, let's stick it center torso. Yeah, that'll be fine. All right, torso, I'll stick the AC-10. A couple tons of ammo. And I think that's really... Why can't I put a double heat sink? Why can I not put a double heat sink? I don't have any standard heat sinks in here that are incompatible. And I have enough slots, and I have enough tons. So why? Why you do this? Oh, it's because I don't have enough slots in that component. I forgot that original build was actually using double heat sinks, so I incorrectly complained about single heat sinks. Okay, right torso. Uh, let's get a couple more things of ammo. And let's bump up the speed. To a brisk 94, which will help us avoid that tagger. I know this does not seem like a lot of weapons, but this is, believe it or not, quite powerful. It's at least sufficient to deal with what we need to do. I think. If I remember right. Probably. We may die. It's okay. Reactor online. Computer online. Sensors online. Now one second. Online. Well, I control online. Delete. It's online. Oh. And I'm back in. Perfect. Hopefully that didn't screw with the recording. Hey, the turret isn't here this time. Oh, that's interesting. The, the first time I started up this save and attempted to do this mission, that turret was still up and there were way more enemies. That's interesting. This game is very non-deterministic. Targeting. Contact. Medium weight battle package. Engaging. Good hunting, Sipkin. Firefly real fast before he does a jump. And gone. Yeah, see if you notice that's the little radar thing we destroyed last time. So yeah, there was a weird bug the first time I started this up where that turret was still the one we destroyed last time we were here was still up. One second, let me. Waiting for rendezvous coordinates. And there were a whole bunch more um, APCs running around. Ones that I would have destroyed last time, I think. No, there weren't any AP Were there any APCs? Yeah, there were a couple. It was very strange. This game is, is not very deterministic with its save files. It's It doesn't... The things it seems to do are very strange. Also, there's still a little bit of shimmering on the edges of MFBs when they roll by at a distance. But there's that's probably a voodoo thing, and there's nothing I can do to fix that. We have arrived and are ready yeah, to deploy. Yeah. The first time I saw this animation as a kid, I was so impressed. I just loved it. All repairs okay. are good to go. Not gonna make the same mistake I made last time I tried to start up the save. Which 
station is going to be, and I'm going to hug this right wall. Last time I didn't, I had forgotten how this stuff is laid out. It's weird. This, this map is a little trippy. It does some stuff that kind of fucks with me. Because you start at the same location as you left off last time, but there's, like, new stuff here? Sometimes stuff from the last mission loads in, and it's just, it's weird. So, Targeting. there's a whole Target. bunch of APCs over there. You know, maybe I just got swarmed by them and the... Oh, I think the turret was the only issue. That's a known bug, I think. I think I remember seeing that on some forums. In any case, these APCs will pop over the hill occasionally and pop back down. They're not a big threat. They can get annoying, though, if you're dealing with that mech. Targeting. Strider. There we go, control D. I don't know why it's not... Oh, no. No, it is. Sometimes they'll attempt to shoot at you, even if they're currently shooting into the ground. Because AI from 1999... Well, I mean, to be fair, they're more sophisticated than the stuff in some modern games. Some modern mech games. I'm not going to name it. Thank you. Targeting. Strider. Now that Strider wants to get to me, but the stupid thing is is that his pathfinding isn't good enough to figure it out, so I have to kind of bait him over this corner. And in a moment, the turret is going to be saying hello. And you're gonna see something a little different than what you remember from Vanilla Mech Warrior 3, assuming you've played it. Targeting. Strider. Yeah, yeah. Why does that sound like it's coming from my left? Targeting. Strider. Targeting. Hmm. Strider. Some things are playing Targeting. a little differently Strider. than they did back in uh, back when I messed with this quite a while ago. Yeah, see, he gets stuck in the is mine. Eventually, now that I've damaged him, he should. Hopefully. Now he's just gonna be stuck there. You gonna let me take your arm? I actually don't want to take his arm, preferably. I'd prefer to just take his leg and forget the rest. Ugh. Yeah, see, I don't want to get much closer because otherwise that turret is going to start becoming a problem. I'm surprised it hasn't shot at me yet. It was last time. Again, not a lot of... some of this stuff is not very deterministic. I didn't want to destroy that, but whatever. There we go. Oh no! No, 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 no! How did you... It must have just been splash damage. Those are pulse lasers he was firing, by the way. Yeah, see, that's the turret. It fires and volleys them, I think, seven or eight. And they are very nasty. You do not want to be on the receiving end of them. There are a lot of enemies, so excuse me if I take advantage of some of the We have AI. reports of enemy flanking. Hold positions. Engage only on direct line of sight. Sounds like Gunner's still on the job. That means it's time to move coordinates. Roger that, Lance Leader. Transferring now. I'm just gonna do a very quick repair because I am paranoid. We have arrived and are ready to deploy. Of course you've arrived. You haven't left. Ugh. I would love to see this game remade. I would absolutely love it to just see some improvements. This is also technically destructible, but I don't think it does anything. So now comes the tricky part. I have got to go across the left side of this, hugging right as fast as I can, and get out of the turret's firing line as quickly as possible. 
If I had mask, it would be easier, but I don't. But at least my speed is pretty respectable. So we're gonna back up and make a run for it and hope that we don't get completely slammed. Also, I should test eye real quick and see if... No, that's free look. Okay. No, we're good. We're good. I think that should fix the issue if I do have to do G again. If I have to get up. That APC might get on me, but I don't think you will. Oh boy. Come on. Hope and dreams. Hope and dreams. That's what mech warriors are made of. Hope and dreams. And lots of metal. Oh god. This is Gunner. I'm moving forward to next mission area. Gunner, we see heavy Oof. increase in And everybody love that sound. I believe that bulldog should be coming across the bridge. Once they're taken care of. Them. Well, sorry for the ear cancer, guys. I did not mean to do that to you. I forgot about how loud it is. Blame Frico. He's the one who put the stupid thing there. Or at least made it shoot so much. I think they're the equivalent of like 60 ton max because they're 60 ton. I'll just stop talking. and then go get some repairs. Yeah, like I said, that turret now has 360 degree vision, so if you thought it was bad hearing that, you can imagine how bad it would be feeling that, trying to approach from the south. Yeah, yeah, fuck it off. That Blackhawk back there, by the way, tends to get stuck, because um, it's kind of in a ridge area. Oh, you guys. Oh, no, 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 no. Transferring now. You got it. I've disengaged. Waiting for rendezvous coordinates. Oh. Roger that, Lance Leader. I forgot there's now. a second turret, isn't there? Oh, jeez. Boy, I hope this is recording. That would be embarrassing if it wasn't. Yeah, let's just, let's just go get some ammo and some repairs. Deal with that second turret when we come We to have it. arrived and are ready to deploy. It's been a little while. Forgive me. I might need to rebalance the audio just a tad. But I think I can do that just fine. All repairs are done and we're out of here. For some reason, just changing, toggling back from one torso mode to the other results in this nonsense where my sensitivity is way too high and I don't think I can turn it down. Okay, let's just get over there and see if we can't deal with... 
By the way, there's an assault mech if I remember right. He's, he's over to the uh, left of me off of that field. He's got a couple other guys with him. Or is it a heavy? Whatever it is, it's nasty. It's a lot to deal with. Targeting. Oh, so there is a second turret there. Yeah, I forgot about that, didn't I? It's okay. He tends to leg himself, interestingly enough. He just keeps jumping and jumping, and there's a few mines over there too, which he ends up hitting occasionally. And, uh, all in all, it's kind of funny. Yeah. Okay. How can I deal with this? Oh my god, took off a third of my torso armor. Ugh, that's nasty. Targeting. Well, he won't jump up again for a second, so maybe I can keep working on that turret. I think I can drop down here, I've just got to be really cautious. Oh, maybe I should just drop down and see what happens. There we go. Yeah, maybe I should message Fariko and let him know that he should really move that Blackhawk somewhere else. Who knows, maybe it's intended as just a jump. You know, jack in the box sort of thing. It is kind of silly though. Targeting champion. Yeah, it's a fucking champion. Which is 65 tonner, I want to say. Either way, I don't want to dick with it. But I don't have a lot of choice. It's gotta die. So I'll just get a minimum range, which I think is 750, and deal with it. Oh, boy, that's LDX. Last time around, he just sat there. He never came this close. The Bulldogs Targeting. held back too, which let me kind of pick him off from a range. Oh, I don't want to deal with a 60 tonner this early, but I need the salvage. I could totally ignore him and complete the game without it, but I, I don't want to. Oh, is that how he gets stuck? Let's just turn this down just a little. Targeting champion. Yeah, that's why I got stuck, isn't it? Well, if the bulldog gets any closer, I can take out him. I just don't want to dance with two of these guys at the same time. Targeting that's all. champion. For all the AI enhancements Frico made. Pathfinding was not one of them. Which is obviously fine, because, I mean, he, I don't think he can really touch that. That's kind of core game file stuff. No mods can get in there. I don't want to deal with this guy. Come on, there's got to be some way I can get to him where I can shoot at him, but he can't shoot back. Okay, well, I 
Yeah, he never pushed up that far last time. I don't know, I just got unlucky draw this time, I guess. But in the past, he stuck back about 700 to 800 meters with the other Bulldog, and he never moved up this far. So I never had to deal with this confrontation. I wonder if he's able to follow me. There's no way that that's what he was doing, was it? Oh, 30 FPS. So much eye cancer. I really wish I could bump it up. Even 60 would be fine. Not much I can do about it though, it's just a physics engine limitation. Okay, let's go back and deal with Mr. Very, very highly weaponized champion. I think he has like a couple LDXs in there, and some missiles, and some lasers. I'm sure he has the LDX, because the LDX in this game is really weird. It seems... the sound effect makes it feel more like a machine gun, but that's definitely not what it is. And I also tried approaching from the south, that did not go well. Even with the turrets destroyed, I think this is still my best bet. Targeting. I've just got to keep working on his legs. I'll just kind of grin and bear it. The sensitivity is so high though, even with my mouse at like a couple hundred DPS, it's still just nuts. I feel like I have not completed the secondary objective of destroying all smokejack forces. Considering there's one kind of just looking at me right here. You know? Could, yeah, this could be my opinion. But. Ugh, oh, finally. Okay. That's better. Now, is there anything else? Oh, that's the power button. Okay, I just gotta go destroy the Able. Destroy Able, and then we are done with this episode. Sorry, it's been a little lengthy, a little, uh, tedious. Ah, <laughs> uh, nothing quite like murder in the morning. Okay. Well, that's about that, so this is the end of this episode, but I think I'll leave... Now, I'll do the briefing next time. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this time, and I will see you all next time. Night passes out.